Today I'm going to show you how to create a leopard pattern design completely from scratch using Adobe Illustrator. You could use this pattern in lots of different designs, you could overlay it onto shapes or text, or you could sell it on its own on all over print products such as pillows, phone cases, or maybe throw blankets for example. So jumping into Illustrator, the first thing you want to do is set up a colour scheme and I recommend using a dark shade of a certain colour, then a medium shade of that colour and a lighter one as well. It doesn't have to be brown like I'm using but you could copy this colour scheme and I will also show you a little trick at the end on how to bulk change the colour of your pattern then you can just change it from brown to red or to blue or whatever you want. To get started actually drawing the pattern you're going to want to head to the tools panel and select the paintbrush tool. To change the size of your paintbrush, hit open or close bracket. As you can see, that's going to scale it up and down. And the first thing you want to do is just draw out some circles. And for that, we're going to use the medium brown. So use the eyedropper tool, select that color, go back to B to the brush tool, draw out some circles. They can be very rough. They don't have to be very geometric because Obviously what we're drawing is an animal skin and animal skins are very unique. None of them look the same. That's why your dots don't really have to look the same and they can be very random and sort of hand drawn. Now one more tip here, I recommend sticking to sort of a square shape. So try and fill out either a square or a rectangle that way have a good starting point for the pattern and once you're happy with your dots and how you fill them out maybe you can still move them around a bit make it more evenly spaced out but once you're done with that go back to the eyedropper tool sample this dark color hit b again for the brush tool then i'm going to just scale this down a bit the size of the brush to then draw an outline onto these circles and now you can go all the way around like this but you don't have to i'd recommend sometimes doing sort of a a half circle maybe, uh, even though it's not a circle, but you get what I mean, it doesn't have to be closed off or you could have it split as well. So just one edge and the other edge. Basically you have some variety in these. It's the same thing again on the leopard patterns. All of these dots look different. So I just feel free to, to do the outline differently each time as well. And once you've done that to all of your circles, all that's left to do is fill out some of the gaps with just singular dots or sort of squiggly lines. These, once again, can be very random and you're trying to fill out some of the white space in between your bigger shapes. Okay, there we go. And now the next thing I'm going to do is select all of these, head over to Object, Expand Appearance. I'm now going to group these and scale them down so we have some more space to copy them across. So to copy these, select the group, hold down Alt on your keyboard, click and then drag this to the right and then hold Shift down as well so it stays in line. Drop it very closely to the original group and then select both of these and do the same thing. So hold down Alt, click, drag down and now hold shift so it stays in line. Uh, same thing, basically copying it downwards. And now all that's left is actually add a shape to the background of this, which we're going to use the light shade of brown for. So use the eyedropper tool to select that color, head over to the toolbar, use the rectangle tool. You can also hit M on your keyboard to select that. You want to make sure that this little icon right here is selected. So use might be on here, but click draw behind basically which is then going to allow us to draw this rectangle behind all of our shapes so one quick tip as well if you want to change the color of this pattern just copy it across and hit this little icon up here that says recolor artwork and while having this here selected which links the harmony of the colors you can drag this wheel around and for example, make it pink. It's going to change all of the colors to a pink shade that matches. So you could then get out of this, copy these down again and create some new color schemes. Another option you have is changing this slider here right here to adjust the brightness. If you wanted a darker leopard print pattern, or I'm gonna go ahead and change this one to a brighter color, maybe a blue color scheme in this case, kind of like so. And there you go, you get the idea. Um, lots of variety possible. Now, if you want to learn how to use this pattern to create a trending Merch by Amazon design, then I would suggest you watch this video where I walk you through how to do that.